Hello, I'm going to demonstrate how to convert MPO files to a format that can be used in Whirly Gig or uh, other programs for Planet Earth showing 3D files. Uh, first off, an explanation of MPO files. MPO files are a file format that was produced to allow stereo images to be captured on cameras and then used in applications that can has that compatibility for that format. What it actually contains is two JPEG files, two separate JPEG files, but combined into the one file. Now, most uh, programs won't play that. What they'll actually do, if I open up one of these in XM Viewer, is they'll simply show you one image. And uh, that's because they're two separate files, and it just shows you the first file within that, within that um, to stack. So I'm going to go to a website which I've got bookmarked here and will also be available in the description. Uh, so this is a program that somebody has created and this allows it to be converted without um, without reducing the quality and it sets them to side-by-side -side JPS files. Now JPS is a JPEG file but is in stereo so you could actually change it to JP, uh, J, JPG uh, and it would just work as a standard JPEG file. So I'm going to download the actual package which I've already downloaded once. So open that up. Uh, inside you'll get a collection of files here uh, with a guide as well as uh, some information about the actual creator. I'm going to create a folder here. I'm just going to call it MPO Converter and drag these files from the zip file into the MPO converter. I'm going to duplicate that window, close this one down, open up here and you'll see in here we have some uh, an exe file, a batch file, another exe file, a text file which has got information about the um, a guide from that about the actual player, uh, not player converter, a guide that tells you stuff um, whatever and also a uh, link to the blog. Now if I drag, now the way the actual instructions work is they simply tell you to drag and drop onto the MPO to JPS batch file. So if I drag this and drop it onto here, you might get this. Uh, now this is simply because uh, it's running a batch file which can be harmful, in this case it's not, so I'm just going to click more information, click run anyway and it processes it and there you go you get a JPS file. So at the moment uh, my XN view doesn't recognize this. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is right click uh, open with always find the app XN viewer open it up and as you can see it is now a side-by-side -side image uh, 7k by 2k and if I was to change that to JPG, like so, then you'll see that it actually shows a thumbnail of that file, um, and you can open it up with whatever file uh, that opens up JPEGs. So I'm going to do just a couple more examples. I'm just going to throw that one in there. Throw that one in there. that one in there and there you go there's a few in there now uh, and I'm going to view these in Whirligig like I say that Whirligig does play back JPS files but they also uh, JPS files will also be available on other formats as well and I think other VR players do support JPS and if not they often will support JPEG so you just need to change that file format so this is a clean installation of Whirligig uh, I'm going to Click on here. I'm going to go to C drive. Oh, MPO, and as you can see the ones that I've converted are listed. So I'm going to just open up one of the JPS directly, and hopefully you can see there. If I click to cinema, you can see there that it's displaying a side by side image. Uh, in which case, I just change the depth to side by side. And now, if I put the headset on, 
that will display a 3D image. Now something which this actually uh, is important to know is that it actually shows you an inverted 3D image. And the reason for that is that it converts it, if I hit reset, uh, it converts it to a side-by-side right-left image, not a left-right image. So if I want it as, a, if I want to view that in WhirlyGig as a right-left image, I can simply click on the settings and go to swap eyes, uh, click off, and that is now showing me a 3D image. Uh, I'll just show you with a JPEG. So I've got some geese coming towards me. As you can see, uh, as I can, as I pointed out, you can't actually see that uh, because obviously it's a 3D image. But uh, just to demonstrate something else, if I go to VR support and turn VR support off, hit F11 and, and reduce the size. So this is non-VR now. Uh, I can quickly go to keyboard. I'm going to use U. find anaglyph in there, anaglyph, click off, so I can now set that as an anaglyph playback. So if I had a pair of anaglyph glasses I'd be able to see there's a 3D image and the scale up as, and this, this, this you can see within 3D. So just uh, another little feature that uh, non-VR people can use Whirly Gig for. Uh, and that's the demonstration. I hope that's useful. Uh, if you have any questions about it, just simply send me uh, an email through my website www.whirlygig.xyz um, or you can leave comments on the YouTube video. I hope you find it useful and uh, I hope you enjoy using Whirly Gig. And like I say, this actually can be used with any other um, 3D viewer as well. Thank you very much.